Hey y'all, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing, lovely day so far. My name is Mandy and today we're gonna be talking about three powerful castor oil benefits for the face. And I just gotta tell you y'all, it is mind blowing how well these work. I mean, who would have thought? So in the past several weeks or so, I've posted a series of castor oil videos that have been very well received. I so appreciate the likes and love and the support. It has been so, so awesome. So if you're interested in any of those videos, I will link the playlist right up here somewhere. But these benefits in this video are going to be completely different completely new and I would be surprised if you've even heard of it before. So uh, let's get into it. First of all, let me start with the obligatory disclaimer. I am no doctor. I am a plus size fashion content creator here on YouTube who has done a whole lot of research. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am my own guinea pig. That being said, I 100% encourage you to do your own research contact and consult a trusted doctor if you have one before implementing any of the things that I talk about and show in today's video. So I've been using castor oil as the last step in my nighttime skincare routine for probably well over a year now. And I have to say on its own, it works beautifully. Lovely, no problems other than it being sticky as hell. <laughs> but I don't mind working with sticky as long as I know that it works and baby, it works. But separately, I had also been using red light therapy since around 2021. I got a bulb <laughs> from Amazon for around $35 that fell into the perimeters of their general guidelines with the nanometers and the near infrared specifications. And y'all, I'm just going to tell you <laughs> that I had never thought to use them in conjunction with one another until about three months ago. And <laughs> it it changed it changed my face honestly it surprised the heck out of me because i didn't see it i look at myself every single day and i just don't notice those little changes but y'all did so <laughs> when i was like researching this and trying to figure it out i went back to like a year or so ago in my youtube videos and then i went back to like three months ago in my youtube videos and then a week ago in my youtube videos and it's dramatic. The skin changing is dramatic. You will see it too. And contrary to popular belief, I know a lot of TikTokers and YouTube like to push very expensive red light therapy. It does not have to be expensive. This cost me $35. I put on my castor oil. I stick the sucker up in a Target floor lamp and I bask under it for 20 minutes like a McDonald's french fry. <laughs> also, if you are new to castor oil and you're not really sure which brands to try, I will leave a couple of links for them in the description box below. Basically, I use the same one that Barbara O'Neill recommends because that's who I follow. And really and truly, it could be any brand as long as it's in a glass bottle, organic, hexane free, and cold pressed. I think that's like basically the stipulations that you wanna follow. And I'll also have the link to the red light therapy bulb in the description box below as well. Okay, so the second way in which you could be using castor oil is for healing the eyes. That's right, there have been multiple studies over a course of several years on castor oil benefits on overall eye health and the results are astonishing, y'all. So in the original article that I received this information from, it had stated that people who were using organic castor oil on their eyelids and on their brows started slowly noticing that their eyesight was improving. And it wasn't just people who needed glasses, it was also people who had autoimmune disease, MGD, which is commonly known as dry eye here in the States. But baby, it did not stop there, oh no. So people who had cataracts, who had eye floaters, which are kind of like those little squiggly lines and like black dots that get into your line of vision that can be autoimmune from what I understand, but could also be indicative of an underlying health condition. And also people who had inflammation and eye bags started noticing that they didn't really have those problems anymore. They kind of just went away. So basically they were getting a cosmetic benefit out of it too and i'm sure nobody was complaining i know i wouldn't so all you really have to do is you just take a little bit of castor oil onto your fingertip swipe it over your eyelid and you want to do this every single night before you go to bed have a little container of it on your nightstand so you don't forget or this is what i bought from a local walmart 
I bought a castor oil roll-on. <laughs> it was like seven bucks. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. The only bad thing is it's made of plastic and I know, you know, it's better to have a glass container, but I just roll the sucker on like this <laughs> every single night before I go to bed and I've had no complaints. It works great, no problems. And it's also helped to regrow my lashes. So <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, y'all. So the next castor oil technique is gonna be one that everybody of any age can be doing and the results are phenomenal, like top-notch benefits and probably one that I should be doing more often as well, and that is oil pulling. If you are unfamiliar with the term, it basically means swishing, like with mouthwash, but instead <laughs> with oil. And most people have been doing this for years and years and years, like a really long time, and it's associated with swishing coconut oil. And I'm sorry, you have to do that for 20 minutes Ain't nobody got time for that. I got people to talk to and things to do and carbs to eat. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. But luckily with castor oil, you only have to do it for two minutes, which is a blessing. That's all I'm saying. So for just two minutes instead of 20, <laughs> it kills germs. It also has anti-inflammation properties. So if you have sores, swelling, abscesses, they will all improve. It heals gum. So if you have gum disease, if you have pockets or worse, it will help to reverse it. It also helps to remove toxins and heavy metals from your salivary glands that are located under your tongue. The only reservation that I have about this technique is if you swallow a little bit, you're probably gonna get a little rumbly in your tumbly, if you know what I'm saying. So you might have to like stay close to the bathroom. But other than that, the benefits outweigh the issues and you're gonna have some nice looking teeth and gums. So this is going to be a bonus castor oil benefit that I have to say is very personal for me. It legitimately saved my life. And I know so many people throw that term around so easily these days on TikTok and on YouTube, but I really mean it. So like so many of you, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism in 2018 after being undiagnosed for probably 10 plus years. And I had gone to doctors, specialists, this, that, and the other. You need to take a multivitamin. You need to exercise more. You need to walk more. You need to sleep more. <laughs> and that obviously was not the problem. And I was talking about my symptoms. You know, my hair was falling out. I was exhausted. Like going through life with small children was nearly impossible. I felt like I was wading through water. And then the brain fog, y'all, the brain fog. It ended up being Hashimoto's, which is autoimmune and also the leading cause of full-blown hypothyroidism, which is very easily found in the simplest of blood tests, <laughs> but I digress. Anyway, just by chance, one day I found a light at the end of my tunnel and that was a video that was by Barbara O'Neill. I talk about her in all these videos, but it was her video that actually sparked this whole like healing journey that I've been on little by little. And y'all, I'm just gonna tell you that I have been off all thyroid medications for over a year now, over a year. So for this one, you're just gonna need two things and that is organic castor oil in a glass bottle, as I've been mentioning all video, and you're gonna need a castor oil pack or a castor oil compress. People use that term kind of interchangeably, but they basically mean the same thing. If you are unfamiliar with which one to choose, I will have one linked in the description box below. It's the one that I've been talking about basically in every single video that I film. But this is what my thyroid compress looks like. It's organic white cotton on one side and then it's synthetic material on the other side. I am so sorry it's dirty, <laughs> but I use it every single day. And then it also has elastic with a little button to secure it against the skin. It's handy, it's hands-free, <laughs> you can do what you want. So you're gonna wanna pour about one tablespoon-ish, you know, onto the white cotton side, and then give it a minute or two or three. Let it kind of spread out, and then you're going to place it against your thyroid and wear it for one to one and a half hours. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And I highly suggest putting it on first thing in the morning. So as soon as you wake up, if it's a work day and you go into the bathroom, have it out, have it ready, have it prepared from the night before and then put it on and then go get ready. Then go make your coffee, then go check your emails and do what you gotta do. And if you have to wear it 15 minutes, if you have to wear it 30 or 45, that is okay. We're gonna get there. It's just gonna take a little bit longer, but one hour, 
to one and a half hours is like the recommended dosage, you know what I mean? But I was checking my thyroid levels like every three to four months, I would go to the doctor, get my blood drawn, and then go on the patient portal and read it. And I highly recommend, like don't rely on a doctor to tell you your levels. Look at your levels, look at your T3, check it all out, your TSH, but you're gonna start seeing those numbers change. And if you don't start seeing those numbers change, there is a way to kind of tweak this. It's the castor oil cayenne pepper infusion. So if y'all been watching my channel for a while, you probably already know that I am from deep South Louisiana. My family is Cajun by heritage. So cayenne pepper is just an everyday thing. We cook with it. I even put cayenne pepper in my tea every single morning. <laughs> don't judge me. It's healing, okay? <laughs> you just don't want to put it in your eyes and you don't want to put it on your genitals, okay? Unless you're into that. <laughs> I have a video talking all about how to make a castor oil cayenne pepper infusion. If you are interested in that video, I will leave it right up here somewhere. It is the easiest thing, y'all. It is so, so easy. It's not making moonshine. It takes all of two minutes to prepare. So in a nutshell, you're gonna take the castor oil cayenne pepper infusion and use it the exact same way. You're gonna put it on the compress, one tablespoon-ish, let it spread out, put it on the skin for one and a half hours in the morning. I'm telling you, do it in the morning because it's gonna keep you up. You're gonna have every stitch of laundry done and you're gonna have your canned goods alphabetized <laughs> in your pantry. Not even kidding, like it revs up your engine like no other, just saying. And y'all, please, please, please do not stop taking your vitamin supplements. Continue taking your three Brazil nuts for selenium. Um, consume a little bit of Celtic salt for your electrolytes and your minerals every single day and make sure you are monitoring your iodine levels. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave a video in the description box below. And like I said before, y'all, definitely do your own research. Advocate for your own health. It is so, so important because nobody is going to advocate for your own health better than you. And women take a lot of shit and it's time we stop taking shit. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this three powerful castor oil benefits for the face. I hope y'all found this video helpful, enjoyable, and a little bit informative. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy in this wild, crazy, weird world <laughs> that we're living in. And I'm going to be seeing y'all very, very soon.